Every so often in human history, there come along new ideas which revolutionize the way we understand the world around us. In Introduction to Media Studies, we learned about a few of these ideas, which we then applied as lenses through which we could analyze cultural texts. For my project, I want to propose a new lens through which we can examine modern media, the memetics lens. <laughs> My personal introduction to this subject came from this book that I checked out from the library called Virus of the Mind. In it, author Richard Brody discusses the origins and applications of a new field that combines evolutionary psychology and cognitive science called memetics. Memetics is a term popularized by Richard Dawkins who many might know as the author of The Selfish Gene and The God Delusion. The basic tenet of memetics is that ideas spread across human populations, not because of their truthfulness, and not even by human choice, but because certain ideas are particularly good at self-replicating and infecting the human mind. The book is called Virus of the Mind because Brody proposes that these ideas infect our minds in the similar fashion to the way that viruses infect our bodies. The ideas in question are called memes, which both Dawkins and Brody define as the smallest possible unit of cultural transmission. Now, the memes that spread the fastest, stick around the longest, and appeal to the largest range of people, in other words, the most effective memes, do so because they appeal to three evolutionary triggers in our brains. These triggers are food, sex, and danger. So an idea or a meme that relates to one or all of these topics, for example, if you eat this food, you will become sexier and lower your risk of cancer, is much more likely to spread than a meme that doesn't. It's easy to see how this applies to media studies. Once we understand memetics, we might understand why sex sells, why food commercials are so enticing, and why sensationalist news reporting dominates modern television. Here are a few examples of advertisements that take advantage of our evolutionary predispositions in order to sell their product. See if you can identify the triggers that each one appeals to, and in turn, which memes they are trying to sell to us. I found the best cafe in the world. Nespresso. Where there's a grown crew to match my every mood where just one touch creates the perfect cup. Where no one makes a better cappuccino, latte, or espresso than me. And where clothing is optional. Nespresso, the best cafe, yours. Wow, who delivered these pizza dipping strips? Oh, well, they're not delivery, the new DiGiorno pizza dipping strips. With two sauces, who needs delivery? That guy? Twelve pizza strips, perfect for dipping. And two sauces, creamy garlic and marinara. It's not delivery, it's new DiGiorno pizza dipping strips. Glad he doesn't know where I live. Nestle, good food, good life. the crawler broken down. Brody stresses that the main reason he wrote his book was to give people an opportunity to be selective about the memes they allowed to program them. I personally believe that the memetics framework contributes a lot to a media studies analysis but only so long as we keep it from being an excuse for some of the exploitative methods of advertisers and television and film producers.